Hello, my dear student. This week we'll go through lesson 5.1, which is perpendicular and angle bisector. The lesson essential question, what is the relationship between a segment and the point on its perpendicular bisector between an angle and the point on the bisector? We have vocabulary here. What is the meaning of equidistant? After finishing this lesson, you will be able to use perpendicular and angle bisector to solve problems. Let's do an overview about our lesson here. We have model and discuss. Okay. So we have this example here that we will uh, do it in our class. And of course, as usual, we will understand a conceptual understanding. Find equidistance point. How can you find points that are equidistance from the endpoints of AB? What do you notice about these points and their relation to a, B. Step one, a point that is the same distance from two points is equidistance from the point. So use a compass to draw intersecting pairs of arcs centered at A and at B. Step two, the points where the arcs intersect are equidistance from both A and B. Step three, the four points appear to be collinear. Remember what's the meaning of the word collinear? on the same line, draw line L through the points. What do we conclude? We conclude that are the points that we draw equal distance from A and B appears, appear to lie on line L. Line L appears to be perpendicular and bisect AB in the same plane as AB. You can confirm this by measuring the length and the angles. So basically, this is the basic concept of our lesson. Now, theorem 5.1, if points on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistance from the end points of the segment. So this is the perpendicular bisector, perpendicular, and it meets at right angle. So it makes a 90 degree on x, y, and it divide x, y into two equal parts. The converse of it, if I know that this is bisector, then they are perpendicular. Now, how will I prove Remember that if a line is a perpendicular bisector of a segment, you can conclude two things. The line is perpendicular to the segment and it bisects the segment. So this we'll do it in our class. Then we will apply that into perpendicular bisector real word problems here. We will solve it in details. I'm just giving you a hint about what we will be doing. Now, we always like to connect algebra to geometry. So we will use what we have learned in finding the value of X and then the value of a segment or the length of a segment. Then, we will find equal distance here. We have a video, we will watch it together to explain our problem. Now we have the angle bisector theorem. We took the segment bisector here. We're talking about the angle bisector. If a point is on the bisector of an angle, then it's equal distance from two sides of the angle. And we will apply it in many problems as you will be seeing here. We know that they are equal to x plus three will equal to four x minus one because it's an angle bisector. Here is the uh, summary of our lesson. And finally, 
we will check your understanding. Did you understand or not? And we will apply what we have learned in solving many questions, many real world questions. Here are the questions that we will be solving in our lesson. I hope you will understand it truly as you understood all what we have taken so far. Wish you all the best and goodbye.